Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the assembly design workbench in Katia V5. So I'm going to open up uh, assembly design. So there are two kinds of uh, assembly design workbench. They are uh, top down assembly and bottom up assembly. So in this tutorial I'll be talking about uh, uh, bottom up assembly in which uh, you design you design different designs in part and you come to the assembly and you keep inserting the existing component and you keep assembling them uh, so in the top-down assembly what you do you directly come to the product design workbench and you go to the insert you keep inserting new parts you keep designing so that's how uh, see you insert new part and you go here and you click on this and you do the design so that uh, the part design workbench comes in the assembly design so that's how the top-down approach works so in this tutorial I'll be talking more about uh, uh, the bottom-up assembly so let's just start a simple design with uh, bottom-up assembly so I'm going to part design and I'm going to create a simple design so here let me just start with a simple design here For instance, you can uh, you know you can just try the same design which I've done for learning. So once you learned, you can try it with your uh, complicated designs. So I'm going to create a, a folder over here that is uh, bottom up assembly, and I'm going to insert the first part here. Let's say it's part one. I close this, and I'm going to create a mate for that. Then part design and uh, let's come to this workbench and let me create another part right here. So let's say it's uh, 50. Uh, I mean it's 50. It's not five. And uh, this is 100. And uh, come over the sketch. Do a part of 20. And here again sketch. Your circle right here, and it's done. It is gonna be 25 because I've given 25 before, so I'm giving the same thing because I need to mate it to my first part. So we have our second part right here. I'm going to save it in the same folder so that I can recognize the file. So you can also do the same thing when you uh, try this out at your uh, computer. So I'll save this, I'll close. Now come to the assembly design, mechanical design. So this is uh, gonna be the first video on assembly design in my uh, tutorial list. So let's see how it goes. So this is assembly design right here and I'm going to insert, I'm going to click on existing component and after that click on product one. You don't keep wondering why nothing is coming after clicking on insert component because you need to click on product because you need to show the so software on which product under which product you need to assemble you need to put uh, the parts so let's say this is product one uh, so if you had a lot of products here product two three four etc then you need to show the software under which product you need to give the parts so I'm going to click on part one and I have my first part one being inserted to my product file so let's see I'm going to insert my next part so existing component same drill product one part two click OK so I have my next part being inserted so we have a small issue right here which comes in all the systems and to everyone who works in assembly design so in here uh, if you click on automatic rename uh, the software is going to rename for you automatically and you can click OK. So right here you can see only one file. Don't wonder because your second part is being coincided with the first part. So go to move, manipulate, go to Z and click. So manipulate parameter, don't wonder what what is this, everything I'm going to explain. So in this video I just want to show you what exactly is bottom up approach. 
so right here so what I'm going to do now I am going to uh, insert coincidence select the first one select the second one right here so it has got coincide and uh, contact constraint so I'll give contract contact constraint and go to edit update so I have uh, a complete thing got assembled right here so if you see this in the wireframe mode you can see it's completely as assembled and it's perfect so this will explain how the bottom up assembly approach exactly works so I hope you enjoyed my video any doubts any clarifications you can comment on my video just below and I'm gonna get back to you as soon as possible so this is uh, Mohammed Shakil signing off uh, for this video uh, thank you